Here's how to prepare your remote guests to record in high quality video and audio with Riverside. One of the key elements to inviting someone for the first time to use Riverside is providing all the information they need in a single email. I'll typically send an email that looks like this to one of my interview guests. I'll put the guest link in multiple places like visit this link and just copy and paste it in the email here. This way they have easy access to find it. Remember you can find that link when you're here in your Riverside dashboard, go to plan recording, then invite to record, and you can copy that guest link here. You can also use this box to send an email directly to that remote guest, and we'll include some instructions as well. I also like to let them know they can tune in from a desktop using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge web browsers. And I also put links to the iPad and iPhone app or Android app if they're gonna be joining from a mobile device. Then I have some recording tips down here at the bottom. Things like using headphones during the call to prevent echo, if they have a USB microphone that it will work with Riverside. Find a quiet room, ideally one with carpet or rugs to prevent reverb. They can use the built-in webcam on their device or an external webcam, and if possible to use ethernet, but that's not necessary, Wi-Fi will work just fine. Also, if you prefer to actually include a calendar invite, go to plan recording in your dashboard and then schedule in Google Calendar. This will actually create a Google Calendar event. You can title the event here, We'll include the guest link and a few instructions here in the invite notes as well. You can type in the emails for your guests here, and now they'll have a calendar invite as well as an email. Now I've joined my Riverside Studio ready to record as the host, and one setting you might wanna change, you can reach the studio settings by clicking this gear icon here, and then under general, you can enable the lobby waiting room. This way, guests clicking their guest link will actually wait in the lobby until you approve them to enter. Now let's see the experience when the guest clicks your guest link. They'll be brought to the Riverside lobby right here, they can put in their name, and this is where they choose their camera, microphone, and speaker output, like you mentioned in the email previously. They can use a built-in microphone on their laptop or computer, and we would recommend applying Riverside Magic Audio to make that sound studio quality. If they have a USB microphone or audio interface, they can choose that as well. Speaker output could be wireless headphones like AirPods or physical headphones that they have plugged into their USB mic. If they're using a USB microphone with a headphone jack attached, they can actually plug their headphones into the USB microphone and choose that USB mic as both the microphone and speaker output. That's recommended because then they'll hear their own voice and you through their headphones. They choose whether or not they're using headphones here. Because I have that waiting room enabled, my guest will see waiting for host to accept. Here on the host side, I'll get notifications in two ways. Here in the bottom left corner, I'll see the name of the guest who's trying to join. And I can also see in the people tab at the very top, whoever guests are waiting for me to let them in. I can ignore or click let them in. And now my guest has joined the studio and we're ready to record. I can quickly check what microphone and camera they're using just to be sure they chose the right one in the lobby. Here in the people tab, I'll go down and expand their card. I can see they're using their mobile device as the camera, which is a great choice, and their microphone and speaker option. Then we're ready to record. I'll hit the record button down here. And you might wanna prep your guests that they should wait around for a few moments once you're done recording so all the files can be uploaded to your Riverside dashboard. And now we're recording and or live streaming in high quality video and audio, both with you and your remote guests. If you ever wanna send a message to your guests privately, not in the recording, you can use the chat window over here on the right, send them a message maybe about fixing their hair or a piece of clothing, and they'll see that in their chat window as well. If you ever share your screen or a media board file, your guests will also see those live here in the studio. Your guests can also access the chat and send you messages here on the right-hand side. And if you would like, your guest can also share their screen, whether it's a window or a tab. And if you're on the Riverside Business Platform and you have a presentation here, whether it's a keynote or PDF, you can start the slides and control them yourself as the host or actually give control to your remote guest and they can actually advance the slides on their side. That's also the same with a script. You can have a script here and with Riverside for Business, you can go into teleprompter mode and actually share that with your remote guests as well. When you're done recording, just hit the stop button down here. The video and audio files for both you and your remote guests will finish uploading. Let them know to stick around, but if they do leave, you can always send them the URL riverside.fm slash upload. And if they visit that using the same browser and computer that they recorded with, those files can finish uploading that way. That's the guest experience on desktop, but you can also have them click the guest link on the iPhone, iPad, or Android app, and they can record from their mobile device as well. If you want a video about using Riverside on mobile devices, we have one of those right up here. And don't forget to go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have lots of walkthroughs, guides, and we announce all our new features there as well. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your setup, maybe with lighting, cameras, or a better microphone, we have lots of videos on that as well. You can check out one right up here, or again, head over to the YouTube channel, subscribe there, hit the like button, 
You can leave comments and we'll answer those personally, or you can reach out to the Riverside team. We can't wait to see what you create.